guys, heading off with my dad. Beautiful sunny night here at Bondi Golf Club. But if you've seen from those chips, you will see that there's a bit of my swing that is definitely not so beautiful. And I've had a few comments in the past few weeks about something what's crept into my game. The comments have been kind-hearted. Always appreciate comments, always feedback, whether it's positive, negative, always take it on board. So the major thing, if you did notice from those chips and from the comments is what creeps into my game and has definitely crept into my game recently is the dreaded inside takeaway, which leads to me to have two-way misses and I have to really control it with my hands. Quite a handy person anyway, but I have to really control it with the hands. So it's a little swing fault that has always crept into my game throughout my time of playing golf. And there's three reasons why it's definitely just crept in recently. One is definitely practice. I've not had time to practice over the past two months with all the other work commitments that have been going on on there. Secondly, with all that work commitments, my gym mobility daily routine has not been where it should be for the past two months. And also with the extra work, I've been doing too much sitting. And when I get stiffer, the body gets stiffer. My go-to then is just to pull the club away with the hands as they get really tight and stiff in there. And thirdly, which leads on from not having time to practice and the stiffness is I sometimes struggle, which I've mentioned in previous videos, to get the club to go away, which if I've not been practicing, working on my routine, I've actually brought something in which we're gonna go through on the next video. But if I don't get my trigger to go straight away, what happens then is instead of my body taking the club and we go from, the, as Pete Count as we go in the spiral up, I go into my right side, but then I don't rotate with the torso here and my hands take over. So I stop rotating, the hands go, and I get the dreaded inside. Then my first move is to go over the top. And obviously with all the editing, I get to see this horrible move of mine all the time. But this week, that's enough. Got to go spend some time to get this little pattern out of my golf swing. So I spent 20 minutes, that's all it took, in the garage, hitting some balls into the net. If you look at the videos, which I'm going to pop up, you'll see the before, really taking it on the inside, which then it leads me to push right, it pushes left, I have to get flippy, which if you see the after, which only took 10, 20 swings to do, a lot more on plane, and the feeling what I had to have there, obviously feel to reel are completely different, so for me to get the club to be here, feels like I'm swinging way out there. So with the trigger I'm feeling there to negate that. So as I said, I just spent 20 minutes in the garage hitting 20 balls, overdoing that feeling, get myself on camera, which as I said, I've not been doing for the past two months in terms of practice, videoing the swing, seeing what's going off as it's crept in and in. So after the work in the garage, I have to bring it out to the course. So that's why we're here at Bondi want to get it on camera. I won't be able to see what the actual swing looks like until I get home in the editing suite. So when you're watching this, hopefully it's definitely softened this inside takeaway. So I'm going to hit a few balls out on the course. Obviously this move has crept in throughout my bag in my short game, the mid irons, the driver. So I want to see how it performs out on the course with just a few different types of shots. So we'll start with the short game. Obviously we're flipping it inside. I'm then having to save it and it's having to really flip. So we're trying to get this more on plane. So my feeling, as I said, even this one, got my little trigger now, get the go. We go feet, body. It feels like I'm going out there, which I know when I see it on camera, I definitely won't be. Definitely a feeling of a lot more shallow and club head control through from there. Working on a few little Bryson moves, which again, I'll go on in the next video, what's coming. But as we're doing that, I'm looking to get the hands and stop this move where as I get from here, my first move is then to move the shoulders that way, which is a death move. So as we now move in, I want to feel that the hands drop in the pocket. I have moved to more of a draw shape now. Much more shallow. Really like that feeling, I have to say, if I watch that back, I would say I was definitely still a little bit there, 
So this one, I'm gonna really try and overdo, and I bet that gets me on plane. So from the chips, again, we'll see when we get on the camera, but it feels a lot less getting it on the inside. So let's go and clip a couple of mid irons and see how that looks on camera, guys. Right, gonna give it a go with a little nine iron, got 145 yard pin, but it's blowing into a strong wind here. So as I said, my fitness mobility has taken a back seat the last two months, which I can definitely feel the past week I've started back on my daily ability routine. I'm back in the gym, so I've got a little bit of doms as well. But I know as I get fitter and stronger again and we start chasing speed properly again, it always will help me get into these positions where when I'm tight here, that is where my default goes. So I really got to hit the fitness trail again hard. So if you want to follow that, give that a little subscribe. Have a look at the socials, right. Let's have a go, little nine iron. Feeling we go in here to then drop it in the pocket. Well, let's, but main focus, get rid of that. It's not the best. Got a bit ahead of that one. I'm interested to see what that was on camera. Again, the follow-up to video this, I'm working on quite a few of the little Bryson setups. So I'll go through that on the next video in terms of triggers, how I'm setting up, feels. It's definitely helping. Struck it nice. So if I'm guessing on that one, it felt the first move was slightly there, and even though it went straight, that's because I'm getting over the plane, so face to path is matching, but it's going dead left and it goes that little bit further as well. So that felt really nice. That's straight over the pin. That's come out hot. That felt much better from there. Interesting to see when we get on camera what that looked like, but in terms of feels, definitely felt softer, not there. In there, that nice little yard of draw. Now, as I've said, I've moved to a little draw feel. Always been more of a fader of the ball. But again, with these little setups, we move into a little Bryson draw. Right guys, so as I said, that tendency has crept in through the bag, even with the short game. I like to pride myself on my short game, don't get time to practice, but I know my short game IQ is pretty good out there, but when this is creeping in, it makes controlling low point and all sorts of stuff a lot more harder. feels so much easier again. So I think guys, what it shows is whatever level of golf we are, we need to be checking our swing, use the cameras we all carry around in the pocket. I know I've not been using it for the past month or two. I obviously see it when I do my editing, so I know it's been creeping in, but give yourself a check on camera, whatever level you are. So when I went to JCB a couple of weeks ago, you notice the pros who are the elite pros on the range, they're still working on the basics, make sure the grips, alignments, all that kind of stuff is taken care of. So let's make sure we're always checking what's going off. I know I definitely needed to. And let's make this game as easy as we can when we know it is not. All right. So much better playing from more here than there. 
Oh, I better rate the bunker. My right guys, happy with that seven iron. Moving on to a couple of five irons. Again, what it does show is if you can get access to one of your local PGA pros, it's definitely worthwhile popping in once in a while. Just get them to go and check your basics out. If you can't do it for yourself, definitely worth getting another pair of eyes on. Those of you that know me or getting to know me down there, know I'm definitely a golf geek and all the sports I've played, whatever I play, cricket, tennis, football, whatever it is in my mind i never stop learning i want to know a little bit like bryson how everything works in terms of biomechanics forces applied wrist angles blah 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 so i like to think that when i know something's going wrong in my swing now which i definitely couldn't do 15 20 years ago is i can figure out what i do need to do in order to change that but if the golf swing gets a little bit confusing you're not sure how and you're trying different things it's not working don't just go down the YouTube rabbit hole if you don't fully understand everything about how the body works, how the swing works, everything what goes into it. Go to your local PGA Pro, go and check it out. But as I said, I like to think I can solve things, try things, I can measure it with the GC3 at Leisure Pod dedicated venue so I can check my paths, angles, spins to check everything. What I'm doing is creating the outcome and it's all about creating that outcome. And also the reason I really want to tidy this swing up is obviously I've been super busy growing the website and the business, but gonna have a little time out soon, have some quality family time. But when I come back, wanna hit the vlogs hard, get some matches. So I want the game to be in as good a state as it can with limited practice. So get my dispersions in so I can play some decent-ish golf and definitely bring Golfing Gems season two, which is very, very late, but it will come in just need a little bit of family time soon so iron this out come back vlogs are going get rid of this really start hitting the gym the mobility every day and get back to where I want to be right five iron <laughs> little people I've ripped it Right guys, hope you enjoyed that little video. Wanted to give you a little update of what I was working on. Definitely had to tidy up that golf swing. I've definitely got to keep on top of that swing, keep monitoring it a lot more. As I said, go check out your local PJ if you're at the Bonday Golf Club here. Pop in and see Barry and the team. They'll give you a lesson. They'll sort you out and there, get those extra eyes on your golf swing. As I said, really going to start hitting the gym hard, the daily mobility. Want to get the course logs going again get some competitive matches going on there. So hopefully this little softening will bring my dispersions down. Golf's hard enough as it is, so I don't want to make it even harder. So if you're working on something on your game, get in the comments below, let me know what you're working on. If you've got a coach, drop the name in, drop the club's mention, give him a little mention in the comments below. Also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to the channel, right? I'm Hot Foam, gonna hit the editing suite, see how it actually looks on the camera probably feel that i've still got a lot more work to do but it's only been about 40 balls so we'll keep on grinding right guys till next time